Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. I was a little late getting out here today, but I'm starting to have a little bit more energy. I woke up very, very tired, like unreasonably tired because I slept plenty, but I don't know what my body's going through these days. It seems like I've just been imbalanced and I'm not sure where it's coming from. So anyway, I have taken my natural remedies this morning to helpfully help me through and they seem to be giving me the energy I need to get everything done. I wanted to show you guys the changes that are happening out here. If you notice, you see anything different? The duck fence is down. So the duck's um, fence wasn't really keeping them in. Um, there were a couple that kept getting out anyway. We didn't have a charge on it because the charger wasn't working because the turkey was eating the wire to the alligator clip that attaches to the charger. So every time we would repair it and put it back, he would eat it. So they are in a very secure location as far as them being able to get out for the most part. But um, they're definitely at risk for ground predators. So I, I'm gonna have Ryan set up the trap in here just in case something tries to get them but really um i mean they're open to aerial predators too but their size usually deters that i just i'm hoping that the turkey being out here with them will help protect them too because he's huge and he seems to want to defend them so we took down that chicken fence that was around them the premier chicken poultry net um, but something that Ryan had to set up so that they couldn't get out was the gate. So the gate, they are able to get out underneath it or in between. So until we get some wire on the gate itself, he just took the chicken net and put it here for the night. So I have to take it all down in order to get the bucks out. So that's kind of a pain, but not too bad of a pain it's nice not to have ducks out so i take down one pole and i untied this hello mr ladybug can you guys see it it's not focusing um take down this and pull it back so that i can open the gate to let the bucks out so that's not that bad actually even if i have to keep doing that for a while but I don't want to be tying up this fence. So I'd rather use this fence for other purposes. So what I'll probably do is pull this hog fence to here and then that post could go across here. I bet that would work. We'll have to try that out this afternoon. That is one thing about homesteading for sure is experimenting, seeing what works and what doesn't. We have had lots of experience with things that have worked and things that haven't worked. And sometimes things that have worked for a long time all of a sudden stop working. So you just have to be willing to be fluid and willing, able to make changes to things as they come up, as problems present themselves. Be ready to rework it and find a new solution. We had a interesting new thing come up with Titus yesterday. Unfortunately, it was a bad thing. It was a behavior issue that he's never shown before. We have had no issue with um, us touching his feed and being in his food. And up until yesterday, we have not seen him have any issue with Khaleesi sharing food with him. Yesterday that changed. Sadly, when I poured the food in the bowl that they share out here, um, Titus began scarfing it down overly aggressively. He was trying to fit all of the food in his mouth at once. And when Khaleesi attempted to share the food with him, he actually growled and lifted his lip in a very serious dog growl, not a puppy play growl. So he began showing some signs of food aggression, which is something you can never allow to take place with an animal that's gonna be around your children. So I immediately took the bowl away 
um, discouraging the bad behavior and then I put my hand in the food bowl in front of him and stirred the food around and then allowed him to put his nose in the food bowl with me and I praised him and said good boy good boy and I pet him while my food my hand was in there and then I placed it in Khaleesi's reach and encouraged her to come back to eating and as while he was being sweet and sharing the food I kept telling him he was a good boy and as soon as he started to growl again I pulled the food bowl away so I have been doing research and I'm gonna continue trying to find the best ways to handle this I know with his livestock guardian breeds he's got to have positive reinforcement as his training so the whole petting him when he's eating well and telling him good boy good boy and then pulling it away when he's not so I'm gonna have to keep doing that and make sure that he turns this into something that's not a problem instead of what it is right now and that's a problem um, one of the number one ways that people get bit by their pet dogs is food aggression related and I do not want that to ever be a problem with my kids or myself especially because he's supposed to be a beast of a dog when he is full grown so we have to nip it in the bud now when he's just a baby it's so surprising that a puppy so young could have that it just shocked me when I saw that happen and I just really want to get on top of it immediately and fix it this over here is our really really big really amazing super duper awesome elderberry it has a fraction of the blooms and a fraction of the size this year and that is because we took cuttings to send off to many of you guys i think we had 10 different people that ordered elderberry cuttings and everybody has been very happy with their cuttings they're all doing well one person unfortunately i found out yesterday actually never received their package and i don't know how or why so i'm hopefully gonna try to resolve that and if you are one of the people that has received our elderberry cuttings leave a comment tell us how they're doing what they're doing if you've gotten them planted yet or if you're still rooting and what kind of conditions they're in i would love to see if you want to go to our facebook page and post a picture on our facebook group that would be super cool but um just leave a comment in the video below Am I the only one that's terrified to reach in and pick a blackberry? Mmm, they're good. A little sour. But, um, I am so scared of reaching into the bushes to get them. Not so much because of the prickers, although these blackberries do have the sharpest, uh, prickers. I am terrified because of snakes. You know? Like, I'm so scared that... The one time that I reach in for a blackberry is going to be when there's a snake hiding underneath and I don't see it. I always try to scruffle the ground underneath me when I'm blackberry picking so that I scare away any snakes. Let them know I'm there before they know I'm there. Wait, no, that didn't make sense. You know what I mean. Anyway, I love, love blackberries. I really, 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 really need to get some thornless blackberries to plant because I do not like blackberry thorns. They are very unhappy with me. I actually wonder if it's a little bit of a allergic reaction or if there's some type of chemical that's on the thorns because it doesn't just prick me and hurt. It like stings. So I don't know what that is, but I love the berries. Well, let's see if this works. Fancy girl has been offered to go out the last couple of days and she keeps refusing. So I pretty much forced her to go out with the herd today. I opened the doors and I got her stuck in the middle of the herd so that they would all lead her out 
and I grabbed her baby and brought him out and showed her the bum and let her smell and, and then ran off towards the paddock so that she would follow. <laughs> so she is not seeming too happy about it. She hasn't moved since I put her out here. <laughs> But I just did it. I went back to the barn to get my camera and film, and then came back out, and she's just standing here with the baby. I made sure he nursed. He nurses a lot better when I empty her udder, so I did that. Even when you empty a doe's udder, she's still got tons of milk in there that she holds back for the baby, and the baby is better at extracting the milk than my hands are. So there's always, always milk left. Even when you milk a goat all the way out, there's still milk left for the baby. It's the same way with most animals. I think all mammals. But anyway, I'm hoping that she realizes that this is a beautiful day and that she wants to go play and that the baby can get a chance to explore and gain some exercise for his sweet little legs. He's so cute. I love him. But I love Fancy Girl. She's my baby. I just want her to act normal. She keeps acting. I'm like, I asked my friend, uh, or I mean, I asked my mom. I said, Mom, can goats get postpartum depression? Because almost what it seems like with her, like she's paying him plenty of attention, but she's just wanting me. She just keeps asking for me to stay with her. My mom said she might be just a little bit spoiled. And I said, you know what? She's definitely spoiled. So that could be a big part of it. So I'm gonna, uh oh, the queens. Dom, be nice to her. She wasn't too thrilled about coming out anyway. You see the hair up on her back. Dominique wants to fight Fancy for the queen. See how she's putting herself between me and her. Dom, be nice, okay? You're big. You're really big. And she just had a kid. So please be nice to her. Daisy already came up and punched her in the head with her head. Kind of like a fist bump, so it wasn't that bad. But uh, I hope Dom doesn't start fighting with her. It was either Dom or Daisy. One of them was making noises in the stall like they were in heat. So that might make her even more testy. The hair up on her spine tells me she's looking for a challenge from someone. So we'll see how these two do out here. If Mama would just go and hang out with the rest of the herd, I'm sure Curry and Perky would play together and have a blast. They need to. Go play. Go play. All right, I'm going to walk away and let them not see me for a little bit. See if that helps. All right, we shall see if this works. The hog fence has wider openings. They're short, but they're wide. So I fear a duck could easily fit through there, but maybe the visual barrier is just enough to keep them in. So we'll see.
that went okay better than yesterday um they spilled a lot while i was trying to make them get along um and they were there wasn't any growling i hugged and petted titus while he was eating telling him he was a good boy the whole time he was eating but and that that seemed to help with the growling situation and the aggression that he was showing yesterday but it didn't stop him from wolfing it down like a um like he's afraid it's gonna go away um resource guarding is can be a problem but i don't know i need to do more research for any of you that have this situation have experienced it let me know in the comments some advice that you might have um and if i'm doing it the wrong way just make sure you let me know in a good kind-hearted way instead of um otherwise <laughs> um if they should have separate bowls that's fine i can do that the only thing is is i feed titus before i bring him out so he shouldn't be hungry at all so that has that was the situation at first is he wouldn't even eat is because he would he had already eaten but the more time that he spends out here the more he eats out here so i got to get that resolved and you see that they work well together otherwise so i'm pretty sure we can resolve it easily i think he's young enough and smart enough that we can get this situ under control <laughs> what you think i got something why do they all come running to me when i come out of here <laughs> yeah look at this my babies love me you feel that kind of love and you wonder why i love having goats they love me they're so good i love it right even the little ones came running. Well, Fancy is out here with the rest of the herd. She's still crying for me every time she sees me. But when I get out of her view, she behaves better. So I think I'm just going to go in the house and let her be and stop spoiling her. I don't call it spoiling, I call it loving. All the got to do well getting fat rosemary you are so fat rosemary has always looked pregnant because she's huge she's never been with a boy she is definitely not pregnant she's been like that forever she's just fat little curry likes being out with the big kids perky seems to be enjoying it as well Oh, my babies are getting so big. Look at this. Truly scrumptious and dotty. You guys are almost the size of a year old goats. You really got big faster than most of my goats get big. It seems like. Maybe I'm imagining things. I did wonder why I was still using the same amount of feed, even though we're out on pasture now. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm overfeeding. I'm going to reevaluate my feed try to see where i can scale it back a little bit i never scale it back for um my girls and milk and i don't scale it down for babies under a year but i've got some yearlings and some girls not in milk that definitely could be scaled back rosemary is too fat Precious is too fat. Time is too fat. Um, who's the other one? Cream. Cream never got fat. She's got a nice slim body. She's got a really long body and long legs. Which is very unlike her mama. Her mama's short. But if I could separate my stalls so that I have Luna, Precious, Cream, Time and rosemary in one stall then I think that I could feed differently and they could get less feed so 
that might help a little bit because I'm upping the feed on my other girls that are in milk. Just trying to make it balance when I'm unable to sell all my milk. I have to figure mm -hmm. other ways to make this work where it's not detrimental to my home with the cost involved in raising these animals. They're supposed to cover their costs with the milk sales, but unfortunately we've uh, had some people that have decided to go elsewhere for whatever reason. I don't even know, but I guess maybe they're closer or whatever. I'll just make do with what I have and when I end up with more milk, I'll reach out to some people that have shown interest in the past. I just have a hard time taking on new people because people can be so untrustworthy with their commitments. I need people who are committed and are not just talking about wanting milk. So, we'll see. He's doing good. He was able to get that himself and Fancy is standing still and letting him. Unfortunately, the other goats are following me. Oh, Fancy. She's wobbing on me. Ugh, I wish sometimes that the other goats didn't follow me so much because when I went to go see Fancy, they all followed me and she didn't like that. <laughs> oh. Daisy, I don't know if you're being sweet or bully-like. You can't tell. Oh, oh, don't bite her ear. No, 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 no. Leave her alone. Kitty, are you being nice? Do not stress out my stressed out goat, please. Please, you too. Oh, gone. Go play somewhere else. Go. Go. No, baby, you stay here with your baby. You can't follow me. Y'all, I can't even tell you how happy this sight makes me. <laughs> it smells good too. Letting these garlic dry in the sun for a couple of days, and then I'll hang them for a couple of weeks. They look really, really delicious and yummy. And this bed is now pretty much empty. It's got horseradish at the back, and it's got one, two, three little sugarcane plants. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to plant the next thing. And hopefully do that this afternoon gotta go in now and check on the kids and situation in there Dalton is home for the summer and Rowan got Minecraft on his tablet for his birthday so they are playing Minecraft together it's pretty awesome this needs to get planted I have those tomato plants up there on top of the little shelter cage thingy that need to go in here I need to get moving I have so much that needs to be done so many weeds that need to be pulled so much mulch that needs to be put down so many things to plant but I got my garlic harvested so there's one good thing in the garden this week all right now I just gotta get my kids fed and get something figured out for dinner and then head back out here try to get some more weeding done hopefully we're planting or both we're mulching really anything anything I can do in the garden one day at a time a little bit at a time is good so wish me luck thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and share comment down below with any questions or comments and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.